my fellow YouTube beauties, how are you? It's TKD Gal here, and I am here with another video. So today's video is going to be the um, Seven Deadly Sins beauty tag. So I was tagged by, you know, a bunch of people. So I figured, let me go ahead and just knock this out so we can get on to the next tag. So um, question number one, and I have the questions kind of written down here, so that's what I'll be looking at. Uh, question number one is, or sin number one is greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item and most expensive beauty item? So my most inexpensive beauty items would have to be the Wet n Wild Trio palettes. And this one is I'm Getting Sunburned. And I have, I probably have like maybe four of these. And um, they're I think $1.99. For three eyeshadows, that's just, I don't think I have anything else beauty-wise or anything else that's that affordable. So, I really do like these. They're great color payoff and they're smooth and silky. These are great. Okay, so then the other thing, the other part of the question was my most expensive. And that's probably going to be this Bobbi Brown uh, Long Lasting Natural Finish Foundation. And for this, I think it was... $45 for this uh, foundation, so I've never paid anything over $9.99, so that was a big deal for me. Number two, Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship? Um, and I'm going to go with, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with my Naked Palette. And... I'm going to say that because um, I have such a, a hard time with this palette because I think A, I'm, in, I'm inexperienced in applying eyeshadows and trying to achieve the looks that I see people achieve with this palette um, and I can't achieve them. I can't get them to look as flawless. Um, as other people can do it with this palette. So I know it's me and I just need to practice and all that kind of stuff, but I love this palette, but it frustrates me the most because, you know, it has such gorgeous colors, but it's just, I can't seem to get the looks that I want out of it, so I'm still working on that, so. Um, the other part of the question is, what products have been the hardest to get? And that's going to be this again because, um, it was so expensive. It was uh, $50, as you guys know. So $50 on an eyeshadow palette, and I was just kind of like, mm, that's I can't do that, especially when my Wet n Wilds were like $1.99. So yeah, $50. But I mean, it works out. You get 12 shades, so I mean, it's not that bad when you divide them up like that. So you know. Moving on, sin number three, gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? And I'm going to go with this um, Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Wash in Tropical Mango. So I found these at, um, I've seen these at a lot, of, a lot of stores, but I happened to pick this up at Ulta. And it smells like Tropical Mango Citrus. This smells so freaking good. I love this. And then they had the nerve to have a body butter too. Ugh. This it smells so good and leaves your skin feeling so soft when you use the two of these together. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Alright, so number four, sloth. What beauty products do you neglect due to laziness? And that would be lip liner. I hardly ever wear lip liner and I know I should. I know it makes the lipstick go on better and it stops it from feathering and you know bleeding all over the place but nine times out of ten I just grab the lipstick and just done <laughs> and then I'm happily reapplying you know four hours later so I don't know I just can't seem to get into it the way I need to I, I don't know I just that's the laziest thing I am with makeup uh, pride. What beauty products give you the most self-confidence? Um, 
I'm going to say that's a tie. It's a couple of things that really kind of like when I have them on, I just feel really good. Um, the one would be lipsticks. I think uh, lipsticks just kind of complete the makeup look. It kind of completes your outfit. It's like the perfect accessory. Um, and also nail polish. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I love nail polish. I love having my nails painted. And again, I think it's just like the perfect accessory to, you know, any outfit. And then you can change it so easily to match your mood. And yeah, I, I really think that's, um, I really do love nail polish for that reason. So it's so easy to change, so accessible. Anyway. Um, lust. What attributes do you find attractive in the opposite sex? Um, that's kind of confusing because this is a beauty, you know, a beauty tag and we're talking about the opposite sex. But um, I guess I would have to say a smile. A good smile is just, I, you know, I can't resist that. Um, I like a guy who smells good. And also he has to be kind of thick in the shoulders and arms and stuff like that. That's that's kind of my thing. Um, my husband is all of those things, of course, duh, or else I wouldn't have married him. But yeah, so I had, he has to have a good smile, has to smell good, and then he has to have a nice build. Okay, Envy. Uh, what items would you like most to receive as a gift? And for me, I think that would be um, the Sigma... Sigma brush set, uh, the professional brush set. Um, the brushes I have now are kind of, you know, not the greatest, but they're okay. Um, and I have been looking at professional brush sets just so I can get um, a better flawless application on my makeup. So I have been kind of looking at the Sigma set. And um, that would be one of the things I would most like to get. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else makeup-wise that I would love to get. I mean, you know, collection kind of makeup, nail polish is always great to give me. But, yeah, I think that would kind of be like the one thing that I'd be like, oh, I really want that because it's, you know, kind of expensive. So, okay, guys, so that is the end of this tag, and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to do. So, you guys, um, if you're watching this video and you're one of my subscribers, you are officially tagged. So um, if you don't record videos, just go ahead and um, answer the questions and just leave them in the comments below and let me know what your answers are. If you do record videos, leave it as a video response so we can all watch it and have fun with it and keep the tag alive. So if you guys have any other questions, um, feel free to leave them below as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.